otitis externa or external ear infection is one of the most common reason for primary care attendance in the United Kingdom. Causes of otitis externa includes infection, which is further divided into bacterial and fungal. Among bacterium, Staphylococcus aureus and Pseudobonas aeruginosa are the common. Seborrheic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, including both allergic and irritant, and the history of recent swimming is a common trigger of otitis externa. Symptomology includes ear ache, itchy, and discharge, which can be purulent. Otoscopy shows red, swollen, or eczematous skin all with a pus discharge, as shown here. The recommended initial management of otitis externa includes topical antibiotics. Topical antibiotics can be given alone or with the topical steroid in combination. If there is a canal debris, then consider removal. Or if the canal is extensively swollen, then an ear wick is sometimes inserted. Coming to the second line options. Second line options are considered in case of spreading infection and normally we give oral antibiotics and the class of antibiotic is flucloxacillin. All the cases of recurrent otitis externa following numerous antibiotic treatment should raise a suspicion of candida infection. In those cases, we give antifungal agent. If the patient fails to respond to all topical treatments, then the patient should be referred to ENT. Malignant otitis externa is one of the most commonly seen complication in elderly diabetics. In this condition, there is an extension of infection into the bony ear canal and the soft tissues deep to the bony canal. In these cases, treatment with IV antibiotics is done. Generally, aminoglycosides are avoided in antibiotics. <music>